Hello! Now, uh, normally, don't worry, my guitar doesn't normally look like this with the uh, strings being all untidy and clipped like this, but uh, this guitar, my um, Lawsuit Era Kisa Suzuki copy of a Gibson uh, Hummingbird, uh, its tuning pegs have never been particularly great, but um, if I look at the back here on our G string, you can see it's a bit loose. Uh, it's been like that for a little while, and uh, we've reached a point where the gear on it is no longer working. So it's been a long time coming, but I bought myself a set of Grovers and uh, yeah, it's time to uh, time to upgrade this guitar and give it some give it some proper tuning pegs that's always deserved. So uh, first thing first, we need to get these uh, strings off and get the old tuning pegs off the guitar so we can prepare it for its new tuning pegs. So now I've moved, let's get the uh, tuning pegs off. Now I've uh, kept this string on for a particular reason, I'm going to show you just in a second, but let's just get uh, the first one off. Let's go for the uh, the low E string right there. Get the old screwdriver in. Got these screws if we can get them out. So old now. Properly rusty. Put this to one side. Now normally you'd want to keep stuff like this safe, but uh, seeing as these guys are going now, um, it's actually kind of difficult sometimes to find tuning pegs uh, with the tuning tuners on either side like this, uh, at least ones that are good. So uh, as you can see, if I grab my Grovers again, so you see they've got them at the top and bottom, these guys have them diagonally. Yep, we're going to be getting the drill out in a second. We're going to get the drill out and uh, having that off. So this is actually two parts there. We can take this part off, showing that, and that's just going to come right through. And Oh, have a look at that. That is a good old clean. So on the front, we now just have this part, which I may or may not be removing uh, just to get rid of the other bit. Now, let's have a quick look at that G string, the one that's given us the most trouble. Now, at some point between now and well, before I got it, this obviously took a bit of a bump. Uh, it's hard to see here, but this part is bent out of shape. Um, oh, excuse me, let's just move that. That's only because I've moved on the screws. Um, it's always been clumpy. Like, I try and twist it, and I feel it catching, and it's it's never been a great tuner. I've always had the uh, idea of um, changing these, but never actually had to do it. And too recently, where, when I was just restringing it, where I tune up to a point, where it catches like that, ends up going lower and lower. This is sort of not really showing you how well it's looking. This isn't really a great uh, representation, because I've already taken most of this stuff off. But uh, basically, I'd twist it, it wouldn't quite catch properly, it'd sort of jam in the middle and go down. And uh, I was pushing this whole section down, taking it off, trying to get it. I was getting, it was, you know, it was sharpening, it was tuning up, I was getting it tighter, but really, it was uh, unusable at that point. So with this, um, I decided at that point, let's get a whole new tuning pegs. So now let's get the rest of these There's guys more off. evidence of how much of a hit this had taken at one point. It always used to just stick a little bit out and have this part out. And uh, now it's normally to do with the tuning peg itself sort of half coming out the back. Obviously now it's coming out that more because I've unscrewed it. Uh, it was never properly ceased in place. It would, it would hold tune actually. It would do an okay job, but it was always sort of on its last legs. Now it's finally given up the ghost. So yeah, time to replace it. And so here we are back again, but uh, a couple of days later. And as you can see, I've already got one tuner done. Now I haven't actually put the, uh, the new screws in yet, as I want to get all three in a row done and line them up nicely because you always see uh, online pictures of guitars that's all been botched up a bit and uh, they're all a bit sort of skewed if you have one that direction, sort of one this direction but right now it has the top thread in it so if I show you on a new one it's set up like this at the moment so it's in there, it's locked on I can't just take it off unless I wanted to now this has been quite a entertaining experience Let's zoom in all. Just to point out, I've got uh, this clamped onto a table with a shirt just to protect it and a towel. Uh, let's zoom in. Now that we're more zoomed in, we can see the uh, the problem I've been having with this one. Now, here is the original tuning peg, which has been Z, goes in no problem. Now, I have been under the impression that all I would need to do is, seeing as the, uh, the holes in these cheap, nasty tuners are sort of diagonal, Whereas on here they're straight like that, so I'd have to drill new holes. So I bought myself a hand drill, a hand-operated uh, sort of mechanical drill. And I was just under the impression that all I was going to be doing was those two there. Well, if I show you the new tuner and the old tuner, you can see you've got this bit here. And indeed, if I put that in, 
yeah, it won't quite fit. So uh, a couple of days and going to many different shops later, I've ended up with a much larger drill bit. And uh, to be perfectly honest, not the appropriate kind of drill for a hole this large. Um, this most certainly is not a tutorial. I do not recommend drilling this the way I'm about to. Uh, it's worked for the other one. As you can see, I had a little bit of scratch, but that was a uh, that was a me not attempting to use the drill properly. Uh, if you have a proper power drill, do it like that. If you take it to a shop, that's always recommended. Or if you actually know what you're doing, then of course do that. But this is how I'm going to give it a go. So for your viewing entertainment, let's do it. Now the first bit is always the worst bit because we'll see the paint sort of chip a bit. That's why I've got this tape around here. I was recommended to do that. I'm going to try and get it as centre as possible. That's why I've got it clamped down. I'm just going to turn into it. There you go. So you start, as you can see, the paint will start breaking away a bit. But you've got to break, you've got to break eggs to make an omelette, or however that old saying goes. This first bit's the tricky bit. There we go. But then you start digging in. Now, as you're seeing, I'm not just going right the way through. And this is actually going to take a little while, so it's probably be a time lapse. Uh, as, as I said, I didn't have the appropriate drill for what I ended up needing this for. Uh, like I said, I bought this with only the intention of doing two small holes there. Uh, this is not so great for hardwoods like this and larger holes. As you can see, it'll start fitting. Oh, the bit I have in here is 10mm. Uh, wooden bit. Now normally you would pop on a bit of tape for as deep in as you need to go, but as you'll soon see, I'll be stopping and eyeing it up. There's no way I'm going to accidentally go all the way through on this one. And as you also notice, there's a lot of going back and forth on this. It's because it'll catch and what will happen here, the bit gets a bit tight, or oh, not tight, gets loose and completely comes away. And it's a case of just keep going at it. This is hurting me a lot less than it's hurting you at home because I've already done one, so I know what I have to do, and I know this works. <laughs> it's not the prettiest way of doing it. But it'll get the job done. It slowly cuts its way in there. Now, if I was doing this for anything that was threaded, uh, then going back like that would be a big, big no. But it's not going to be done like that, so that's kind of fine. I'm getting a bit that's catching here, and I might have to adjust sort of myself. There you go, slowly taking it off now. So as we can see, if I zoom in a little bit, we've gotten in deeper, and this part will start to seat its way in. There you go, it's seated a bit, and I just have to keep going until this goes all the way in. This is an absolutely horrible sound. What I'm hearing here is I probably need to adjust my clamp a bit because my clamp's moving quite a lot, tightening. You obviously don't want to tighten it too much because you don't want to put too much pressure on the neck. Now, believe it or not, this is actually looking a lot cleaner, a lot less messy than the other than the other attempt was. Well, one thing I do is want to do is uh, I'm just going to get the washer out for the other one. There we go, just got the washer out of it. Probably should have done that a bit earlier, but hey, like I said, this uh, most certainly is not a professional job. Just for comparison, we have the old washer versus the new one. This one will properly slot in. So together we have the old assembly and the new assembly. It's going to be going in like that. Let's just test this guy. Yep, it's fitting nicely. It just needs to go deeper. Now, would I rec recommend anyone do it the way I'm doing it now? Absolutely not. Uh, like I said, the only reason I bought this drill was thinking I was going to be doing much smaller holes, but I got impatient. I got sick of buying the wrong thing and decided just to go for it. So if you're going to copy me, it's at your own risk, mate. Let's have a look at that. So That's certainly deeper. Let's see if we can fit in yet. As you can hear, we that's how high it would normally be if it was on the edge. And this is us going in, so we're, we're getting closer. So I just want to check. I'm going to put this on the underneath. See if I've reached a point where it will thread at all. Uh, it's just reached that point, but obviously we're not going to do it this high because otherwise it'll be floating. Now, once these are in, so I'm going to don't break anything, I'll be doing another video on uh, the actual tuners themselves and what I think of those. 
as I have had a pair of Grovers before that I hadn't been too impressed with, but I'm wondering if they're sort of, either they're a knockoff or if they're a licensed. <laughs> there you go, as you can see each time that's seated in a bit more. Uh, noticing that I've got a bit of an angle there, so I need to adjust how I'm drilling slightly, but I'm getting through. And I'm, it's not it's not going in any way at all towards like the whole way, and this bit will, this uh, washer will come through, protect it. And then, like I said, once I've got a lot of this in, I'm going to add these screws posted in. Or the screwdrivers, the screws themselves, just to keep it all secure and in place. And with anything like this, especially if you're unsure, is to make small adjustments and keep checking. Always, always check. Also, the tape here. I was recommended on putting this here to uh, try and sort of stop the uh, finish from cracking a bit more. And uh, on this one, actually, um, which I could show you, this one, as you can see, it's far more cracked around the edge. Where I didn't have anything like this, so this seems to be a much, much cleaner job. This was my, this was my attempt before I decided to get the camera out. And not that I'm saying that every guitar should go around modding their guitar, but it's always a good idea as a guitarist, as any kind of musician, to have a toolkit set up for anything you might need to repair, to adjust to anything on your instrument. Always be prepared to do that. Just gonna, there you go, turn backwards just to get it out there. Yeah, if you have a second, we'll just go back a little bit, and you'll get yourself out. The last looking quite deep now, so. Let's see. Oh, right. Okay, just iron that up from the bottom. There's just a little bit left to go. And so as I get closer to that, I'm going to remove the tape. So we shouldn't damage the finish at that point. And Lovely. Right, I'm just iron that in from the side. You won't be able to see that quite yet, but it's almost in there. So this point... I think just because I'm going to want to put it in soon, I'm going to take off the tape. There we go, you can see that's a little bit of, of damage, but it's all going to be, you know, if I stick that on, it's hidden. And the only bit that was, uh, the only stupid damage that's happened is this scratch here, but oh well, at that point it's going to be a reminder of not to try and uh, widen it without having the proper drill bit. Because your hand will most likely slip and you'll do that, something like that. Lesson learned. Could I have bought a cheaper set of um, of machine heads that would have fit in here immediately? Uh, maybe not with the screw bits here, but yes, I probably could. And then my original plan of just adding these bits in would have worked. But I wanted to treat this guitar as it's a lovely guitar, sounds great, plays great, it's just always had rubbish tuners. As soon as I broke, I thought, well, let's go all in. Treat her and get some nice tuners. Like that, adjust it, push it, and there we are. So now I'm going to take this bit, put it up, get it. It's a bit tricky trying to get it through the hole to begin with. There we are, it's on. Uh, what I've done is I cut it at a slight angle, so I just uh, redid a load of it to get it on. The uh, thread part is now through, and I've got this part on. So uh, now I'm going to Probably come back and do the third part tomorrow and then we're going to align them and actually screw in the actual screws to keep these in place. Like I said, I'm going to line them up, use a straight edge just to adjust them all, make sure they're all perfect angles. As of right now, you might even be able to see from this angle, if I rough it in, they're not perfect at the moment. Like I said, I can adjust them. We're going to go with the old saying of um, measure twice, drill once, or measure twice, cut once. So I'll we'll make sure it's properly measured up, then we're going to do it. So I'll see you then. So now I've got all three on one side on. And uh, something I just wanted to do before I uh, screwed them in, I've already done it because I've, I've, I've uh, put the screws in for this first one here, is uh, taking the ruler and actually lining up the backs of all three of them. Now the reason being, uh, you don't want, like I said earlier, you don't want it to wear like, for example, this one to be slightly off. And it would just look really awful. So I use this to just straighten them all up so I want the back of the point just before I start any work. I'm going to keep that there as a guide. So I've got a different drill bit now, a much smaller drill bit. I'm not actually going to drill the whole way through. I'm just going to do just a little incision there. There we go. And the same, just double checking everything's Keep that right. So now these are the screws, and because they're already quite sharp at the end, I should now just be able to slot them in place and just use a screwdriver 
to just screw them in. And that should thread the hole just how we like it. I'm just doing the last couple of double checks just to make sure everything's angled properly. It's gonna oh. magnetic screws being a lot of fun. In place there, there we go. Give it a little wobble, make sure. Yep, that is nice and strict. So now just keeping the ruler there just as a guide. I'm gonna start screwing the first one in. That's a little bit of a pressure just needs to begin with, and then once you have that, it should take. There we go. That feels like it's taken. There we go. And I'll start going in. Just gonna double check the oh no. Right, that's gone wrong. There we go. Making sure it's staying lined up this time. And this one's caught. I'm just making sure as I screw it in, it stays lined up with everything else. There we are. And once it hits about the bottom, you don't really want to go any further. Because you don't want to start threading the hole badly. Once you get those in, just checking it from the side and then tightening up. Okay, now I'm going to do the same for the third one. So while screwing these in, uh, one of the sort of worst things manageable happened. The uh, actual head came off on the screws and yes, it is in there. So uh, this is a little while later. I'm just going to tighten the screws on this a little bit. This is just a little bit later after sort of consoling myself on what has just happened. Uh, I see myself as having a couple of sort of options here. One is just to leave it. Seeing as not only this side, but the other side I'm about to show you has a screw holding it in place, which should be fine. The other option, which is really an aesthetic fix, would be to add a little bit of glue inside there and just pop the top in. Now normally, uh, especially where uh, moving parts are potentially to be replaced so and concerned, gluing is normally a bad idea. However, if it's just the head of it going on there, and the actual rest of the screws inside there anyway, that's basically unretrievable, then hey, it doesn't feel like it's uh, going to cause much of a hassle later anyway. Uh, yeah, as I said before, this, this definitely isn't a how-to or tutorial, this is just a Sort of modding vlog, I guess. Let's have a look at the front now that we've got one side of it on. So now we have half of them on. And before I hadn't actually put the washers in, but now I've uh, added the washers. So we have the actual assembly itself. We have the, the, the top part there that screws in actually into the uh, tuning peg itself. And then we have just a washer there just to keep everything still. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use a um, adjustable spanner just to time just, just enough. And then we're going to have a go at side two, and then we'll get the strings on and do the one other modification I've made for this guitar. And now here we are a couple of days later, and uh, it's all done. Got them on, got it all strung up. Uh, just have a look around the back there. Now, uh, something, well, I think I already showed this, but uh, yeah, that bit is, um, as you can see, the head of the screw is off, but if I zoom in, the uh, rest of the screw is actually still in there. I've just kept that as, uh, with that bit screwed in and the other bit tightened up. Uh, now everything else went, went really, really quite swimmingly actually. Uh, this one was honestly the worst with that whole incident and I was there. Unfortunately I drilled the whole way through. With my original idea of getting a hand drill, a, me a mechanical one, rather than a uh, power drill being that I wouldn't do that, but hey it happened anyway. But luckily that bit there, the washer, is hiding it really nicely and I've got them tuned up there. They feel lovely, they feel nice and solid. Great tuners. This the tuners the guitarist deserve. Now the other side, like I said, had very little problems really. Um, now on the straightening side of things, these guys are almost entirely straight. It's got just a little bit out. That's kind of how I drilled it, unfortunately. This one went a little bit awry. It's not completely straight as I'd like it to be, but hopefully it doesn't look too off. Now one of a mod I did make to the guitar was uh, I got it a nice new pair, a nice new pair, a nice new set of um, bridge pins here, and these are made of uh, ebony. Now, originally, they wouldn't go in. I had to keep sort of pulling them out, 
push the back in, with a pair of sort of pliers just to widen to widen the hole and to sort of squeeze the pin in a bit. I did try actually try using the pliers just to squeeze the pins in. Cracked a little bit of the wood, but it's, it's uh, all been okay. The guitar sounds nice, clean. Uh, set up here, these are a set of uh, Ernie Bull, I think it's the Earthbound ones, the medium light, these are the 12 gauge strings. They sound really nice, these feel lovely. I was hoping to put the other ones back in because they weren't quite fitting, but it had gone in the end. Uh, yeah, this has been my first attempt at actually, you know, drilling <laughs> and uh, modding a guitar myself. And I'm, um, even though there was a lot of hiccups on the way, uh, I'm quite happy with the overall outcome. And like I said, this isn't a, uh, this is not in the slightest a, uh, tutorial. By God, don't do it the way I did it. Look at people who are actually good, but it's a, a bit of a fun, bit of a fun, um, blog, even though I did botch parts out quite nice. You've got the guitar still functional now, which is more than it was before, and it has a proper and lovely set of tunes on, because this guitar has always been a lovely sounding guitar, really nice neck, it's just needed a lot of TLC, and now it's finally got the bits I've been planning to do for years and years on it. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the outcome. We'll see how it handles it, uh, on the road, I guess. So, and that's all for this video. If you like, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.